The old guy was obviously the shaman of these people. Hi, my name's George Stobart. Please, sit down. Welcome, George. Thanks. It has long been foretold that a white man would bring the Coyote Stone to this village. Why is Father Hubert so reluctant to visit the village? I don't know. He used to come here a lot, but then he just stopped. You'd think he'd want to spend some time with his kids. Did you say Father Hubert has kids? Three girls and five boys by my reckoning. All conceived in the same week at the Feast of the Monkey Dance. I don't suppose this would be any use to you. It sure would. This wax on a stick will change our lives. Uh, what do you want it for? To decorate our bodies for the monkey dance. My girlfriend's been bitten by a snake. And you want me to heal her? That's the idea. Can you do it? I'm not sure. My gums aren't what they used to be. Listen, my girlfriend's in a coma. Please, old man, give me the root. What root? Father Hubert told me of a root which could cure the bite of the river snake. Tough. There's nothing sacred with these people. That was our secret, known only to members of my tribe. If that root is my chance of saving Nico's life, then I want it. Fast. There is time yet, George Stobart. Time to learn why you were called here. Fine. If I listen to your story, then will you give me the root? The eel travels far, but still returns to the place of his spawning. And look, I'm running a tight schedule, so can you skip the riddles? Many years ago, when the world was young, the great god and king Quetzalcoatl was defeated by trickery and deceit. His enemy Tezcatlipoca took his place as leader and demanded terrible human sacrifices. A group of loyal priests found a way to trap Tezcatlipoca. But his powers were so great, they knew he would not remain trapped forever. His time of incarceration would end with the eclipse, which marked the close of the fifth age. So the priests fashioned three obsidian stones which contained the power to seal the mirror for all time. But before the stones could be put in place, they were seized by the invading Spanish. But how did they trap Tez, the evil god? They built a pyramid which they told Tezcatlipoca was dedicated to him. At its center, they fashioned a huge mirror of perfectly smooth obsidian. Luring him into the pyramid with praise and flattery, they used sorcery to ensnare him in the mirror. There's an eclipse of the sun due very soon, isn't there? Correct. The eclipse which marks the ending of the Fifth Age will come before the next full moon. Less than two weeks. I didn't really believe that Tez Catlipoca would return, but I figured Karzak's plans were in some way connected. What happened to the stones? They were taken by the Spanish to the coastal town that is now called Guaramonte City. Only one stone reached Spain. The other two fell into the hands of buccaneers. The Jaguar Stone was captured by an English captain, El Draco. The Eagle Stone was taken by a pirate called Ketch. The third stone, the Coyote Stone, reached Spain safely. That is the stone in your possession. Tell me more about the Jaguar Stone. Many centuries ago, the port of Cuaramonte was entered by a ship flying Spanish colors. The captain, the man known as El Draco, sent soldiers ashore. Only when the soldiers arrested the mayor did the people realize that they were English privateers. The mayor was held hostage while the soldiers looted and plundered the city. Amongst the treasures they stole was the Jaguar Stone. Where is the Jaguar Stone now? I suppose El Draco took it back to his homeland across the Great Sea. To England? 
Tell me more about the Eagle Stone. The stone was loaded onto a galleon with many valuable artifacts plundered by the Spanish. But shortly after leaving harbor, a terrible squall blew up and damaged the ship. The ship was intercepted by a bloodthirsty pirate, Captain Ketch. Ketch made short work of overpowering the crew, stealing the treasure, and sinking the Spanish ship. Where's the Eagle Stone now? Nobody knows for sure. Ketch retired from piracy and bought an island in the Caribbean. What do I do when I find the stones? Bring them here to me and I shall prepare you. The stones must be taken to the heart of the pyramid. Only there can they be used to seal the gate by which Tezcatlipoca will return to this world. Can you show me the way to the pyramid of Tezcatlipoca? Not until you possess all three stones. Suppose I was to believe there was anything in your story, other than the rambling delusions of a seriously wacky old man. Suppose I was to swallow it, hook, line, and kitchen sink. What then? Then you would see that the fate of the human race rests upon your shoulders. Do I get anything to help me combat Tezcatlipoca? Like what? Well, a magical weapon? Get real, George. Now do I get the root? Here. Take it. Make haste if you wish to save the girl's life. The hummingbird sings to me of death to come. Now you're talking in riddles again. Listen, is it okay if I crash here? I've got no chance of finding my way through the jungle in the dark. You're welcome, but you probably won't get much sleep. Tonight's the night of the monkey dance. I left the village at dawn and stumbled back through the jungle in a post-party daze. It was just like sneaking back to my parents' house when I was younger. Except Oakland didn't have monkeys or parrots. The cone was ideal as a makeshift container. As the liquid was squeezed from the root, it collected in the cone. Look, Hubert, the antidote. Well, what are you waiting for? Get it, girl, quickly. Nico. Here, drink this. Oh, George, it's horrible. Just swallow it down. Okay, try and rest now, darling. You'll need all your strength when we go after the other two stones. Other stones? What other stones? What have you gotten me into now, Josh Tobart? Well, the patient is sounding more like her old self already. Nico recovered quickly from her fever. To save time, we decided to split up and look for each stone independently. I traced the pirate Ketch to a remote island in the Caribbean. With the fortune he'd amassed from piracy, he'd retired to a place that was later called Ketch's Landing. 